When I was a kid, my dad had a eight millimeter projector that you could put little cartoons on. There were these little reels, and they had no sound. They were just these little cartoons. We played for about two minutes. And I had a little tape recorder that I bought, and I would make sounds and try and put, get them in the right order so I could sync them up and play them together. And when I realized that here I am, you know, 40 years later, doing the same thing, making sounds and syncing it up to video, it just really gave me a chill that I was doing that when I was 12, you know, and that I'm still really playing with these toys. I'm fascinated by the creative process because it's, 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 non, it's non-linear. Like, you, you don't just go from A to B. You know, you, you, you start off and you go down all these different avenues and, you know, 10 of them are dead ends and you abandon it and you end up someplace that's the best. And you have to go down all these other uh, dead ends to know where you want to be and what it is. I um, was trying to think of a name and I was thinking about how all these ideas were just kind of coming coming to me from nowhere, you know, like uh, writers talk about that, like how the creative process, you know, you just, these ideas just come to you from the other world or something. And I was in the shower and I was thinking about that. And according to American Indian folklore, birds, because they fly, they think of them as being closer to the other world. And the black color represents the void. So they think of the raven as like a messenger from the void or a messenger from the other world. So I thought, oh, these ideas, that are coming to me, that's, that's Raven's work, you know? It's, so I just coined the name. So the, when I started Raven's work, my business, th- that is really, was always the heart and the soul of that company. I put it together so that I could hold a position and then give away, give it away, give it away, give it away, t- to deserving projects, to I, everything from struggling directors to Venice Arts. So at some point, like maybe 20 years ago, I began to get really concerned that, and I just had this feeling that I wasn't making, that what I was doing, you know, I'm making these records and stuff or whatever and stuff, but, but I'm not really doing anything. You know, there's all these problems going on and, and what I'm doing, it just isn't important, you know? I'm not making a contribution. So I really thought about giving all of it up and like, go work for an environmental group, tie myself to redwood trees or something, you know. And after a lot of soul searching, I realized that the best any of us can do is to do what we do best and offer it. So that's, yeah, it's very important to me.